Hey. Oh, hold on. This, this should be like a... Yeah, there you go. You're here, right? Let's just see where you are. Let's get the fight for me, that's good. Watch me. I got this! Get serious. Don't get caught! Take this! Who wants to raise a glass? I gotta play their weapons to make them stronger. Let's go check out all the different jobs you should. Let's go! Get serious. Don't 
Other kinds are tired. Time to clean up. I just gotta play his default class, but like, let's hold something else on him, just get a couple of levels in. No, I actually should switch Ichimon just to get a couple of levels in. And get some skills just for the hell of it from something. Okay. Even though I'm gonna probably stay hero. Cause you also get like, uh, like additional health and other stats from with jobs, just for leveling them to a certain levels. And the higher level we get, the faster those classes level up because the fights are worth more XP. I don't know, her and eat you by too. That would be beneficial. I guess I'll leave him. <laughs> With finesse. Oh, yeah, I was gonna look up how to get the fortune tell. Oh, wait, I think I saw the fortune teller card. Hold on. I'm ready for anything. Dachi is a chef. Chef. Mm. Parts of here, of course, are take down techno with or. I feel sharp as a knife.
Where is it? I'm ready for anything. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. This asshole he makes a video of him doing it, but he doesn't show where he is on the map. Well, that made me a down that little spot on the map, you jerk. Yeah, that's north. Where could that be? It's right here. I don't see a part time hero quest there. Sorry, hold on, I'm trying to hunt down weapons. You need certain weapons to upgrade them to get the best weapons. So you need like the first version. You know, like, yeah, like, locate them down. This is the one for Chef. I see, I just gotta find one. I get it. And he's saying that they spawn there. Let's go try it. I don't think I've done that one yet. Oh, I see, let's see. Start going over there. Yeah, let's let's get some get some other levels in here. Let's mix it up just for the fun of it. I know what I'll play just for the hell of it. Can I help you? Let's change him to. Oh, he doesn't have, what is it, change over to? Um, do Breaker again? Breaker is fun. Now, let's just do Breaker again. I'll be rooting for Those you. Those windmills, man. Well, we got Breaker to die, we can get higher than that. Maybe, maybe. Boy, boo, Technomancers. Watch me. I got this. I wonder if it'll give me the quest even though I haven't started it. That's a good question. Start him. Oh, something else must be completed. Is that what? I 
I don't know any of these. What else can I find it? No, fuck it. We'll figure out some other time. You know what? F this noise. That's what that is right now. Let's just... Let's not mess with jobs. Let's go main jobs. And let's just get some progress in. We'll level stuff up with some other time. As I get into a fight. Well. I gotta do a lot of side quests though, like, cause some of them are only available in the night, I think. But it'll be night again some other time. Maybe I do a little more story and then I go do side quests. Cause the story's kind of like at like a crescendo. Maybe we, like wait until it dies down, and then we then we do the side stuff. Yeah, so we'll go switch to main classes after this. And then we'll go do the main story for a little bit. That's the plan. So good to the. Oh, it looks like it can. What are all those dollars that's open? There's a dungeon in that sewer. If you remember when I had to escape from the sewer and they were torturing me, there's just like a ton of fighting. I can go back there and like fight, and there's a bunch of new fights and stuff, and there's a big boss. But it's like a lot of fighting, and it's like all only fighting. It'll probably take over an hour of fighting. Is that something that you would care to see, or is that something that I should just do on my own? It's it's like all fighting. Yeah, I'm open to either, just let me know. That's also something I could just do while watching TV. But if you want to see it, I'll stream it. So it's up to you. Okay. Alright, maybe we'll do that next stream. Cause at some point they close it off and I can't go back and there's like some rewards that I want there. Like I thought I could get the chef's uh, weapon for free, it's hidden in there. Can I help you? Or I could go earn it somewhere else. But let's go to the main jobs right now. I'll level the side jobs in that dungeon, that's all I'll do. Our hero. I'll set you up good. We have Nava as homeless guy. That's good. Adachi as what's his? I haven't really cited on a main one for him. What did you? What do you like Adachi as? I'll let you choose Adachi's main. Okay, but I'll I'll decide. I'll, I'll maybe one day I'll just do it. Well, I'll just randomly get the urge to do it while watching like that '70s show, and I'll just fucking. You know, I could also just stream it without my mic on and then you can just watch it and I can watch TV while I do it. That's a possibility too. That way if you just want to see what it looked like. Bodyguard? I'm glad you chose that because I was, I was kind of leaning that way too. Bodyguard looked cool. These look like the main... Oh, you know, oh, look at the sunglasses. Looks like look at the sunglasses with the shark skin looking suit. You look like a badass. I like the katana and stuff. Alright. Damba's homeless guy. How do you get the fortune teller thing though? Is that easy? Cause some of them are easy. Stone orb. 
The gambling hall? Okay, yeah, I gotta get my stats up so I can get inside that gambling hall and I can get that. Alright, that's what I'll do, fortune teller. But for now, we'll keep Nambas holding this guy. We'll keep Jumki Han as Hitman. We'll keep her as Idol. Airy. We'll keep, I like her as Matriarch, I thought that was kind of cool. She had that big ass the blade. Although she's not gonna be playing anyway, so I can just get her free dealer levels. Cause I'm not really using her too much. Unless like everyone else dies. That's not a bad idea. You know, Jungi Han is probably not gonna be in too much action either, so he can get me leeching some levels too. We'd be better off his breaker though. The hostess. Let's go with Breaker, because maybe eventually he'll learn one mill. I don't know if he can learn one mill as a just like a passive. Do your thing, best out but there. Yeah, we'll sleep him as Breaker. Because yeah, we're going to rotate him out. Actually, he can stay. Because I have gear for Breaker. Let's go get his weapons, and then we'll go upgrade everybody's weapons, and then we'll go do the story. Wait, do I have the... Do I have, do I have these guys' weapons? Because that's important, too. I don't know why I'm rushing. I know you'll just tell me to take my time. I always feel like I'm... I'm like, oh, I got progress. But let's take my time to get the weapons. What is, what is Bodyguard's main weapon? Nameless Katana. Alright, I can find that in the silver safe. Do I have that? No. Uh, that's also in a safe. That's easy to get. Where's that at? Okay, this one's gonna be easy. Stairs, got you. Okay. Got you. Okay, that's him. Maybe I should start executing them before I just forget them once in one, like two at a time. And I'll watch the videos. That way I'll just forget. <laughs> I'll just have to keep watching the videos over and over. But like, wait, where was it? I think of this as like the level one katana on the way to the the best katana in the game. So you gotta get the level one version and then you upgrade that in your shop and you just keep upgrading it until eventually it's the best katana in the game. So I gotta find like the base weapon for every for each of my class each of my characters for the like the main class they're gonna use. That way they'll have the best weapon. Some of them I might already have it, I might just came across it while not paying attention. But, we'll see. I think I have Ichiban's bad for hero. We're getting Adachi's katana. I'll be right here in this safe. Should I open it? Sweet! Nameless katana. Alright, that's him. Now we're gonna go get the breakdancer inklet, which is currently for Jungi Han, but I use it for a lot of people. No, because breakers don't. Everybody loves break dancing. Oh, 
there's a... Hopefully I got enough crafting materials. That's another thing when I do that dead zone, get crafting materials. I'm really looking forward to playing uh, the other two games. Even the the other one that's like, technically this is the spin-off series, and then the other one's a spin-off series featuring the main character from the main series. If that makes any sense. But it, it sets up for the sequel to this game, which has that character in it as well. It's a little confusing. With this. It'll make more sense well, after we beat the game. Which, by the way, we're, we're not getting too far away. We're two thirds in. We're in chapter 10. The final chapter is 15. What's going to slow us down is uh, finishing off all the side quests. We've been putting them off a bit. And I, you know. Even though it's nice to progress the main story because it's the most interesting, the side quests are worth doing. We've seen some pretty fun stories. I got this. What? Really? There's a samurai game from these people too, where it's like in feudal Japan with like swords and shit. I've always kind of want to play that one too, but I don't think that was in English. Like it's all subtitles and Japanese voices. Maybe. I'll look into it. But that would look cool too. Like a dragon Ishin. I'm sorry. I'll look it up. Oh man, I walked into a side story. See what you're talking about. Wow. one for him. Of course, it's the one he found in the ground. Duh, that's probably the story. Uh, I think I have idols. Yep, that's idols. And then, I want Matriarch for her. Chao Ka Long's Armory. Where's that?
I have to be level 7 co confidence for that. Okay. We'll get to that later then. For Matriarch. And then her weapon will work for now. I suppose. Let's see. Oh wow, there's a big difference between the katana she currently has and the next one. I didn't get that. How the hell are you gonna that shit? Where's my confidence at? Oh, I see my confidence. Four? Okay, I gotta, uh, I gotta go to that school and get my stats up eventually. Is there anything else I need? Nah, I think we're good. I think we're good, just need to go upgrade the weapons now. Man, this picture is so clear. It's very nice looking. Look forward to play the sequel. Because I know where the location is and you don't. And it's a cool location. There's a part time hero quest here, I might as well do it. Steampunk. Let's go. Take this. Oh, shit, I didn't want it at all. Oh, shit. Sure. Papa Dork, Rockabillion. Sunglasses at night. Mm. Oh, if someone needs a hero in the bathroom, this is gonna be good. Oh, grab me a soda. Oh, wait, let's this first. Oh, right. My bad. Sorry. We'll get out of here. Huh. So this is what it looks like. Guess there aren't as many stalls. I mean, it is the men's room. Nothing worse than when all the stalls are taken up and you're standing there about to piss or shit yourself. Feels like an eternity sometimes. Yeah, first guy to open up a stall is basically a messiah. Never would have taken you for the religious type. I need to help with the toilet. Uh. Oh, he needs toilet paper. I bet I can buy toilet paper at like a grocery store or something. I'll keep an eye out for that when I'm at like a, one of those vendors. Alright, let's get, to, let's get back to the story. Hop the fence, you jerk. Alright. Uh, 
to upgrade those weapons. The, the weapon shop. Oh, I need to. I don't have enough money. Oh shit! I got. I gotta do something real quick. Hold on. I remember I need like twenty million dollars or something. Trying to get buy a car. I gotta like, upgrade the weapon shop past a certain point to get more upgrades, and you need twenty million yen to upgrade it to the next thing. And the only way I get money easily is by working at my job. So let's go do a couple of jobs. Every time you do a, a sales meeting, you get three million yen. So we'll do that for a couple minutes. Let's get down to business. I'll call our right a show shareholder meeting. Consider the shareholders handled. We'll start with the budget. We'll kick things off with the financial report. Thank you. Let's move on to the QA. If you have any questions, this is the time. <laughs> If you have any questions, <laughs> I'm all leveled up, so it's a lot easier now. Shut him down. Well, everybody, this calls for a celebration. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. The meeting went great. All right, there's twenty million. So now I just need enough money so I can actually craft the weapons too. So I'll pick up more. <coughs> <coughs> We got a job to do. I got like two or three more shareholder meetings you should do. I have a feeling you'd like this, Jacques, in the series. This is your type of shit. Good story, good characters. It's funny. It's also, you know, serious at times. Nice. You guys did great out there. Every time I invest in these, it never goes well. But I always do it almost. That's so important. But I feel like I've. 95% of them don't work out the investments. We got a job to do. We gotta focus on upgrading our guys. I know this combat's starting to get a little more difficult when we're fighting those bosses last time. Uchiba was only level 26 and the, the boss was level 31. And I was like, it's because I had to do that underground dungeon. You get a lot of levels in there. And I haven't been upgrading my stuff. Nice. You guys did great out there. Habitually. Every once in a while in RPG, you gotta look at your shit and just be like, oh, hold on. Let's get up to where I'm supposed to be. Like, well, let's try to get my gear the best it can be right now. We got a job to do. Lucky, 
Peasant costume. Uh, uh. We got a job to do. Yeah, we'll do one more set of the shareholder. I'll have six million yen to upgrade our stuff. That'll probably be enough. If not, we'll come back. Oh, him's running look funny. These are incredible results. Nice, you guys did great out there. Uh. Sorry, loading up a new pin. Consider the shareholders and we'll start with the finance. We'll kick things off with the financial report. Mm. All right. Thank you. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's pull on this afro. Let's get him first. Uh, get out of here. Oh, look at that afro. Oops, I hit, I hit the wrong one. That's what I oh, I hit the wrong one again. It's going bad. It's going to be alright. So, what do you say? This is the time to ask. Pull up the meter. Take that fat cat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to apologize to her, we'll see. Got her. Best business sales manager. Well, everybody, this calls for a celebration. Everybody, thank you. I bet that's a real tradition. Like, there's no way they just keep up with that hammer thing. I know where, but that's the thing they do for something like certain situations. So, like, when a major deal is struck, we have to do the ceremonial breaking of the king. Everyone knows it's tradition. It's a little silly, but you know, it's tradition. <laughs> Alright, one more set. That think it's pretty good. Yeah, this thing's great. You can just make money on it whenever you want. Just do a little mini game. Do the shareholders meeting. 300. Every time. So it's just a matter of time. It takes like 5 minutes basically for 3 million worth of money. It's easy to make money in the game. We got a job to do. It just takes time to level it up. Watch how level it up. Let's keep doing it. Which also make a bunch of money leveling it up. I got up to like 13 million leveling it up. Maybe more. Nice. Right out there. Yeah, we're number one. Cause Ichiban is number one. We got a job to do.
You know it'd be cool if Aerie's in the sequel, and they make her like a full character this time, which is in the cutscenes and stuff. <laughs> oh wow, that's funny. Apparently, the character of Ari <coughs> is based off her, of, of her voice actor who won a contest to get put into the game. So, this is a real person. And that's why her character is different. Now, like a full character, she's a contest winner. <coughs> or if her name's really Ari. Her Japanese voice actor, not her English voice actor. We got a job to do. Consider the shareholders and we'll start with the financial report. President Kasuga, if you would. We'll kick things off with the financial report. Thank you. Let's move on to the QA. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. Okay. Uh. Please raise your hand if you have Very good. It's like Pokemon, the colors counter like fire, earth, or er, fire, grass, and water. So that's red, so I hit it with my blue first. She's blue, so I hit her with my green. Blue, so green. She's green, so red. Oh, there, to, there, they got to see a little bit of the actual game of the shareholders. So. And all the business shit. This guy. Yeah, 26,800. Ah, we gotta think so. streets look so cool on the street. When I played this before, it was uh, on PlayStation 4, 
quality graphics because like it came out right when the PlayStation 5 just came out, so technically it's a PlayStation 4 game on PS5. And after I beat it, they uh, upgraded it to have better graphics for the PlayStation 5 version. So this is my first time playing it with better graphics, and it, it does look considerably better. Everything's just sharper. The the lighting is the big thing, and it just runs so smooth. Okay. Bring it on. Have fun with this. Support 20 million and down the drain. Thanks to your investments, I was able to get all the equipment I needed. The workshop's finally back to where it was. Thanks so, so much, Kasuga san. <laughs> no need to thank me. You're not the only one benefiting from it. With equipment like this, the workshop can start putting itself back on the map. I had mostly given up on it until now. I'm gonna do my best to get this place. Is there a teleporter again. back there, though? Is that... <laughs> That's a Sumire chan I know. Let's keep helping each other out, okay, Miss Manager? Yeah, likewise. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> From the end, let's get to Oh, I'll oh, upgrade. Just touch. Almost there. Just finishing touch. Nice, nice, nice. Just finishing touch. Nice, nice. Oh wow, I can really upgrade them a lot. Well, I can... I'm probably running out. Maybe I save it for here. Alright, let's leave it at that. I don't know. 
know what cheer that is, but yeah, that's pretty strong. Alright, let's do it to the bat now. Oh, this is that. I think I was at this basically. Yeah, that was the equal I'd say. Some cow attack zero. I buy that at the store. I'm good. Oh, it's not really taking much gold to upgrade the weapons, it looks like. So it's mostly just be materials. That's good to know. Where's the drugstore? Oh, is that it? I sure do. <laughs> I sure do. Increments? Nope. Alright, let's just go on this too. That's all right. We'll go figure out the. Okay, you're in it now. 
Take your best shot. Kick your ass. He was looking for his brother, and it turned out his brother was being hidden by the the, the, the uh, Korean gang. And there's like, yeah, we have him. We'll take you to him. And he went and saw him, and he's like, yeah, it's all good here, actually. You know, like, I have been their prisoner because I found out a secret, but they treat me very well. And actually, the girl who has uh, been guarding me, uh, I asked her to marry me recently. And she's the love of my life, and we're going to get married. That's hilarious. So I'm actually happy this will happen. Like, and he's like, oh. Yeah, they, they kept All right. I found out that I shouldn't know. And they're like, we can't Yeah, and now that thing's leaked. Real... So, it, like, it doesn't matter that he knows yeah. anymore. So it's good. Everything's uh, good. That's hilarious. Like, yeah, time. In all honesty, you could have just done nothing. No, no, it, it just happened. Like, we just no, fixed so it. Like, yeah. If you had done nothing, I would have called you a week. I would have called you tomorrow. <laughs> actually, I, I, I'm trying to get your phone number. I've been looking for your phone Watch me. I have it. It's somewhere around here. <laughs> Chances, as you see, the one else crazy. Why can't I approve this anymore? What am I missing? Oh, I don't have enough cheap plastic. Shit, where do I get that? Just like I thought. Cheap plastic. Sorry about all this vendoring and shit, but whatever. Yeah, get them weapons. Back to the park. This guy sells shit. Yeah, all this shit is crafting materials. Let's just get some of it. Some of all of it. I'm sure every weapon needs some of it.
Well, that's a lot of different crafting machines. How, how many more did it go? Okay. I came for us, so let's get a lot of it. I don't remember how much I needed. I don't remember if it was five or fifty, but it's cheap. Let's get five hundred of them. Let's just max it out. There we go. I wish you could just press back to max it out, that'd be nice. That's how most games would do. Wait, let's just fix that. <laughs> My market's been practicing on tech and it's gonna be the crap out of me next time we play. I gotta get some time in on it at some point. He's practicing right now, I see him. He's getting better and better. I gotta step it up. He beat me up last time we played, he beat, up, beat me every time. We had, to, we had close matches, but he beat me every freaking time. Alright, that should give me some weapons. For a little bit, at least. Before I have to come back and restart. Oh, look at that! Never noticed that sign. It's a little big hotel here. Hotel Grand Blue Marine. Don't that go to. Ow! I want to build my weapons. Oh, good time to windmill though.
Looking good. Almost there. Just a finishing touch. Looking good. Just a finishing touch. Looking good. Just a finishing touch. Nice, nice, nice. Just a finishing touch. Almost there. Oh wow, I'm gonna be hitting really hard. I've really upgraded this stuff a lot. Nice, nice, nice. Upgrading the uh, business has made me be able to upgrade my weapons to an extreme of much amount. Look, uh, look how many times I've gone up. Just These are all increments I should have been at for a minute. Nice, nice. Or we should just start beating the shit out of things. Almost uh, there. Just finishing touch. Oh, I'm finally out of money. Who did I get to? Oh, I didn't get to. Oh, I don't have her card shit anyway. And I, don't, I don't have her matriarch weapon yet anyway, so we're okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's save that. We're gonna be hitting way harder now. This will speed up combat, that's for sure. Alright, so where are we going? We gotta go over there? So I need to hit up a restaurant before I go over there. There's one right there. Let's kill these guys on the way. Oh, good, they're a reasonable level. Let's see how much harder we hit. Pretty good start. Oh, I have a lot of freedom. Harrison to learn a skill called Smack Talk. Nice. Alright, that's the restaurant right here. Who's hungry? Me. Oh man, I gotta hang out with what's his face before I go in. I just saw he's maxed out. Shit. Just when you think you're ready. You can't waste those friendship levels, especially this late in the game. Maybe I'll hope to max him out. Hello, Kasuga-san. <laughs> I must say this place is quite comfortable. Yeah, ain't it? Also, seriously, man. How's a guy make drinking alone look so cool? I guess it's easy when you're as handsome as you. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Yo, for real? <laughs> hey, now you're speaking my language, man. You certainly are a mysterious one, Kasuga-san. Songhui speaks highly of you as well. I dare say it makes me jealous. Oh, come on. Uh, speaking of, have you been with her long? You've got this butler and lady of the house thing going on. It's only been three years since I was brought into the Komijul. I can't say it's been long. Oh, no shit. Up until then, I was with a group called the Jingon Mafia. I was their leader's body double. Body double? You mean like a decoy? Just like the real thing? Indeed. If my master was ever targeted by our enemies, I was to be killed in What's his What's up place. with his neck right now? That was my duty. Oh, okay, was this twisted or kind of stuff? Had a weird angle uh, going. Wait, does that mean your face is... An imitation, yes. 
What you see is a result of large-scale plastic surgery. But I'll have you know my previous face was rather handsome as well. A shame not a single picture of it exists anymore. Really? Out the window then, huh? In a manner of speaking, yes. So that means Junki Han isn't your real name either, right? What's your real name then? <laughs> Surely we're not that close yet, are we? Come on. First step in becoming friends is calling each other by name, right? Hmm. Well, isn't this awkward? I'm afraid I'm the type to want a bit more distance with people. That how it was with the Jingon Mafia? From the name, I'm guessing it was some sort of Korean Yakuza-like thing. Weren't you once a member of the Tojo clan, Kasuga-san? I'm surprised you've never heard of the Jingon Mafia. I was in the clink for a long time. The Jingon Mafia and the Tojo clan clashed in the 1980s, long before you were serving time. The 80s? Dude, that's 40 years ago. I was just a baby back then. Doubt I even had hair. Yes, I had yet to be born myself. Regardless, early in the decade, the Tojo clan attacked the Jingon Mafia and massacred a great number of them. Around 30 or so. 30? Back then, Kamurucho was the most sought-after territory in all of Asia. I've heard the conflicts for control were rather intense. The Tojo clan was incredibly strong. And they made sure it was a well-known fact. Still, to off 30 of them is... To get their revenge, the Jingon Mafia main arm in Korea sent even more members to Japan. Some of them as undercover agents. But deception is a tricky business. And all who could not strike at the heart of the Tojo clan were considered failures and forbidden from returning. In the end, those that couldn't carry out the mission were abandoned and left without any place to go. One of them happened to be my father. Then you were born here, in Japan. Yes, but be that as it may, I don't recall being welcomed here. I wasn't even accepted by any Korean communities either. My family was treated like slime and kicked out from wherever we went. We came to be called the Stray Jingon Mafia, running away whenever we were discovered. Slimes who run away, huh? Stray Jingon Mafia ain't bad, but personally, I think Maverick sounds a hell of a lot cooler. Maverick? One that strayed from the herd? Maverick Jingon Mafia is a bit of a mouthful, though, isn't it? It's a little much. Yeah, I guess you're right. Stray Jingon it is. <laughs> but I will give you points for style, if nothing else. <laughs> Thanks. So, what happened to the Stray Jingon after that? Hmm. Enter the 21st century, the winter of 2006. Around the time I turned 20, the Jingon Mafia from the mainland made an all-out assault against the Tojo clan. But even as that happened, the Stray Jingon Mafia received not a word of warning. We were left completely in the dark. Our fathers were entirely forgotten by the countrymen that sent them here. You don't say. I might know a guy who could sympathize with that. Oh? Yeah. He's right in front of you. <laughs> I got tossed out by my family and locked up for 18 years. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That must be why I can't bring myself to hate you, Kasuga-san. So? What happened to the Jingon's big, all-out attack? Despite their careful planning, they were ultimately crushed by the Tojo clan. Ironically, those that survived came from all over to join those of us in the Stray Jingon Mafia. <laughs> it was a miserable sight. Both sides cut off from home and left with no choice but to band together in the social sewer of a country that wasn't theirs. Sounds like you struggled. Wouldn't know it from looking at you, though. I could say the same to you. Yeah, finally starting to warm up to me? It would seem so. 
I haven't been acting much like myself today. I had a great time drinking with you, Kasuga-san. I truly mean that. So whatever happened to the real Junki Han? What's he up to now? He revived the Jingon Mafia roughly three years ago, and at that time had taken over a considerable portion of Kamurocho. But he was shot in the head and killed. I was absent at the time. And it all came crashing down, huh? Hmm? Wait, then that means... Can't you use your real name now? Why keep up the body double thing? <sighs> you're... Uh, you're not trying to become the real Jungi Han, are you? Uh, who can say? But that's none of your concern, is it Kasuga-san? Or am I wrong? Ah, uh, you got me there. <laughs> Farewell. Guess he's not the type to open up so easily. <laughs> I'll just have to keep drinking with him. to hustle. With finesse. Club? That's an old timey building. Hey, check it out, Ichiban. They're looking for part timers. 900 yen an hour, huh? Think about it. Make a little money, two birds, one stone, huh? Two birds, one stone? Getting paid's one bird, so what's the other? Huh? Oh, well, uh, uh, uh the feeling of contributing to the betterment of society? Pull that out of your ass, didn't you? I'm kidding. But I should tell you, it's not like you'd be able to watch the show. What? I know the guy who runs the place, and they're looking for someone to help with ticketing and equipment. Oh, I see. They can also pick up on whether or not someone's got an ulterior motive almost instantly. Ulterior motive? <laughs> what? Nonsense. I'm just looking for good, honest work. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say. Guess a job's a job, no matter what. Oh. 
Thing. Two, huh? I'm, I know the guy. The they ulterior. Mm -hmm. I guess a job's a job. Should I open it? Sweet. Thank you, Chairman Hoshino. Captain Takabe said it would be okay for us to talk? I heard. And I believe I already know why you've come. You've done us a great service. I would not still be leader of this clan if it weren't for you. Does that mean the Seiryu clan's gonna pull through? I can't say for sure yet. About 20 to 30 percent of our men defected to the Omi. The ones who stayed are grumbling behind my back. And it's hard to blame them. They just found out the Jincho standoff was all a sham. Zhao told me he's giving up his position as the leader of the Liu Meng. Songhui is going to lead them. Yes, I know. <laughs> You just know everything, huh? Not everything. But I'll tell you what I do know. Eventually, the Seryu clan will succumb to the Omi Alliance. What? For people who had nowhere to live outside the Grey Zones, the Great Wall of Muscle was their only protection. Now it's crumbling. That's a matter of life or death for them. Already rumors are flying into Jincho's political circles. Rumors that Ogikubo's lost his touch. I'm sure Aoki got those whispers going. He never lets a good crisis go to waste. Oh, really? Aoki knows it would destroy the party if it ever revealed their chair, Ogikubo, forged money for years. Now Aoki can easily blackmail Ogikubo and force him to step down. Aoki will become the new party chair. I don't get it. Why does he want to take Ogikubo's place so bad? The party chair manages elections, so in that role, Aoki could nominate anyone he wants. He'll control the ruling party. Therefore, he'll control the nation. The whole country will be under his thumb? Yes. Especially if I'm right about his next move. I think he's going to try to dissolve Parliament. <clears throat> dissolve Parliament? At a time like this? That's insane! Prime Minister, I understand how you must feel, being unable to rely on Ogi Kubo-sensei. But honestly, I have the power to support you better than he ever could. If an election were held today, I could guarantee you two-thirds of the seats. Minimum. Do you have a solid plan for doing that? Yes. I'll send Bleach Japan to the districts where the citizens' liberal party is weakest. Bleach Japan can influence votes anywhere. They're incredibly popular. Plus, they have my endorsement. A victory for the party would, of course, move your... personal political goals forward. Oh. Tell me. Do you think you have the power to maintain the party's stability right now? We don't want it breaking up for lack of support from Ogi Kubo-sensei. You can talk that way to the house, but not to me. Appoint me to party chair and hold an election. 
If you don't, I'll be forced to make public the nature of Ohikubo Sensei's crimes. That would mean the end of not only your administration, but the party itself. But there's no precedent for someone serving as both governor and party chair. Besides, you're much too young. If age is what you want, start digging for some old fossil who can stop me. That is, if you think you can find one. Anyone in particular come to mind? <sighs> Aki's scheme to destroy the Great Wall worked. Now he's got Mabuchi and the Omi at his command. So much power vested in just one man. And it had to be Masato Arakawa. Kasuga, I know you never intended to be at the center of all this. It was pure coincidence that you were there when the soap landowner died. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Lucky me. But one thing I don't believe is a coincidence is that you ended up in Ijin Show. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still have that fake bill? Yeah. Uh, didn't... Didn't you say you knew how it ended up on me? Yes. Only one person in the world could have put that bill in your pocket. Who? Who is it? Masumi Arakawa himself. Arakawa-san? No, he... He's the one who shot me. Yes. I'm aware he shot you. But did you ever consider that maybe he did that so you would end dun, up dun, What? That fake bill was his letter of introduction between you and me. It was to let me know that you were one of Masumi Arakawa's men. Uh, kind of a weird way to introduce us, don't you think? I think what it means is Arakawa's goals do not align with those of Ryo Aoki. Well, then, what are Arakawa's goals? I really can't say, but I do know that he means business. They wouldn't have used that bill if he didn't. Chairman, how exactly do you know Arakawa-san? Huh. Well, that's a long story. And there's a much better place than here to tell it. Aeon Tower. Aeon Tower? Yes. That's where my fate intertwined with Arakawa's. <laughs> he sure seems to be partial to Peking Duck. Yeah. Let's have it for lunch tomorrow. My treat. I'll make the reservation. Listen. Okay.
Go. Hey. F that, let's do story. Story. Take 
Excellent. Oof. The bus is everybody. Alright. Well, I got this. Alright. Okay. We'll go. Cool. You're in for it. Come on. Who's not going to say? Okay. Have fun with this. Watch this. Let's go. Chief. Hmm? My friend's got some questions about the day I was dumped in this town. Yeah. I want to know why you didn't just abandon Ichiban and dump him in a hospital. If you don't mind telling us, I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. Hmm, I see. tell you it's as good a time as any uh, uh what there's an old tradition in this homeless camp the responsibility passed down through the chiefs for many years what responsibility on occasion when we're asked we dispose of bodies what bodies yeah there's a Yakuza family from Kamurocho who pays us to do it. They're called Arakawa. Arakawa? Seriously? They... Uh, was this going on while they were still Tojo? I don't know every detail, but yes. The arrangement existed at that time. It existed before I started living here. We've dealt with all kinds of bodies. Whether they've been shot, stabbed, beaten... No matter how nasty, we dug holes and buried them under garbage. Who knows how many are there now? Back during the bubble, we got one every month. Or so I was told. Since I became chief, there's only been three. Damn. Arakawa the assassin. But there's one more secret rule. It applies to anyone the Arakawa bring here alive. A uh, secret within the secret. Great. What happens if they bring someone alive? We're supposed to give the person medical aid, then let them go free, while pretending they're dead. Uh, what's up with that? In the criminal underworld, there's always people wanting to fake their own death. Gamblers, guys on the run, anyone who's afraid someone will hurt them. They send people like that here, and we honor the secret agreement. I think it might actually be a service the Arakawa family provides, but obviously they don't advertise it. So it ended up being a very rare event. Is that agreement why you saved me? This live body rule? <sighs> you got it. What sort of guy dropped me off here? I mean, probably just someone from the family. I had no reason to check or anything. The guy lugged you out of the trunk of a car. You were covered in blood. He paid me and left. Didn't say a single thing the whole time. I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Huh? What the...? After Arakawa-san shot me, I think he said something. I think it was, I'm counting on you, Ichi. What would that even mean? No clue. But the more I think about it, the more I'm sure he said that. 
Look, Ichiban. What? I don't want to dash your hopes or anything. But when you were dumped here, you were on death's doorstep. You were only alive because everything I did went exactly the way we needed it to. But it could have easily gone a different way. I know you want to trust Arakawa, but... I think Arakawa-san had to shoot me. All the other Yakuza at that meeting were watching him. Huh? Never mind. You don't get it. Forget I said anything. story. Screw it. We'll do side quests tomorrow or something or my days off. Sorry, just heat no. Yeah, I wonder what skill I'm gonna do. Might just be windmill. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go the further in one way. Windmill is there. I went ahead and got started. You sure you don't mind treating me? What? Are you actually able to pay? Wish I could, but I don't think they take this. You don't sound like you're gonna relax during this meal. Depends on what you say. Hopefully I'll relax enough to enjoy the duck. So, uh, how do you know Arakawa-san? I'm on the edge of my seat here. It wasn't long after the war the counterfeit bills started being produced in Ijincho. It was top secret. Only the heads of the Seiryu clan and the Liumang, plus some officers, knew about it. Outside of that inner circle, they also had to hire people to smuggle the bills. Smugglers? One of them was a traveling actor. His name was Toshio Arakawa. He was Masumi Arakawa's father. What? One day he came to us saying he lost an entire suitcase filled with a hundred mil in fake yen. No excuse in the world could have saved him. A mistake that grave required the Seiryu clan to make an example out of him for the other smugglers. <laughs> but remember, only a few people at the top even knew about the counterfeiting. It wasn't a task they could hand to just anybody. 
So I, being next in line to inherit the clan, was entrusted to carry it out. So did you... you actually... Yes. I killed Toshio Arakawa, father of Masumi Arakawa, in this very place, 40 years ago. But I had no idea who was in the room with my target. By the time I learned it was his 14-year-old son, it was too late. I had to go through with the hit, knowing this boy would see his father die. To make my guilt even worse, later I found out why Toshio lost the fake bills. His wife and her lover had stolen them. But those two fell into the ocean and disappeared. Their corpses were never even found. So Arakawa-san lost both his parents, one after the other. And his only other friends, the theater troupe, disbanded soon after without their leader. Masumi Arakawa became a drifter, along with a few other actors. They couldn't trust anyone, so what other path was there for them, except becoming Yakuza in Kamurocho? Arakawa joined a low-ranking family in the Tojo clan called the Hikawa family. Life wasn't easy for him there. They were the kind of family that took hits without thinking twice. Really? Yes. So they were always in need of ways to dispose of a body. Masumi Arakawa was tapped to help with that. And he was extremely cautious. To do it, he started coming all the way to the homeless camp in Ijincho. Really? Even though the family was based in Tokyo? Why? Well, truthfully, he wanted an excuse to come to Yokohama. Because it would afford him opportunities to hunt his father's killer. I see. So Arakawa-san was using the homeless camp to dispose of bodies all the way back then. Indeed. As for his hunt, he researched Yakuza and criminals every time he was here. All he started with was a single clue. His own childhood memory of the suspicious waiter he saw here that night. Eventually, seven years after the murder, I received an invitation to come here. He signed his invitation Matsumi Arakawa. It was a bold declaration, and I knew immediately the running would be futile. So I came here, alone. I didn't even bring a bodyguard. Why the hell not? Well, to put it simply, I was prepared to die. But, I mean... In this line of work, there are no good ways to die. And I can think of worse ways to go that would not give that boy the justice he'd earned. The memory of what I'd done to him never left me, you know. It was always like a small bone stuck in my throat. He was sitting right where you are now. Here? Yes. He didn't look a day over 20, but his eyes had that hard, flinty gaze of an old killer. I couldn't help myself. I told him everything. I told him why I killed Toshio Arakawa. I even told him about the secret counterfeiting. I figured I was dead anyway. He had a gun in his hand, and all he had to do was pull the trigger. But he never once interrupted me. When I'd finished, he slowly stood up. I stopped him as he turned to leave. Didn't you come here for revenge? I asked. And? What did he say? He said, If only you had ignored my invitation, then I could have shot you in the back. 
then he left. Uh, boss. In 1984, the 10,000 yen bill changed from the face of Prince Shotoku to Yukichi Fukuzawa. By that time, Arakawa had found his own Yakuza family. So I sent him a gift. What was it? A fresh batch of crisp, fake bills featuring Yukichi Fukuzawa. They were defective prints with nothing on the back. <laughs> Not exactly legal tender. Then how was that a gift? It's hard to explain. But if I had to say, I was out of gratitude. Sure, but for what? I should have died that day I met with Arakawa. I would have been right. And yet he spared me. Not only that, but he lifted a terrible weight from my chest. Furthermore, it's not an exaggeration to say the equilibrium among the Ejin Three continues to this day because of him. Wow. I owe him an unfathomable debt. And one day, I... I must pay it back. The defective bills were how I chose to communicate the sentiment. The counterfeiting secret is Ijincho's weakness. And it was only thanks to Arakawa that the Ijin Three could continue to secretly wield that power. But of course, that means if he ever feels like it was a mistake to let me live. He can use the fake bills to unravel everything I've built. The gift wasn't the bills themselves. They were leverage. I actually wrote something on the back to that effect. Neither justice nor mercy should tip the scale. It means that those in power must reward and punish where necessary. I felt it was an appropriate message. I suppose the writing is faded at this point. Whoa. So that's the whole story. Up till this moment. But now I'm sitting across from a man holding one of those fake pills. Which, of course, is a message from Arakawa that only I could understand. The message is, Masumi Arakawa sees you as a beloved family member. Arakawa-san thinks of me as family. He would not have placed that bill in your pocket lightly. Do you see its significance now? After everything I've told you. <clears throat> there is almost no doubt in my mind that Arakawa did not want you killed. So he didn't shoot you out of malice. He shot you so that you would be brought here, be saved by the homeless, and eventually meet up with me. Do you see? <clears throat> That's everything I can tell you. That's plenty. Thank you, Chairman. I see it all now. I always kind of figured... You did? Well... It's your move now. I've only told you what I know, so... It's okay. That's enough. I trust you. <laughs> well, I don't hear that often. Yeah, neither do I. Not even from my friends. But those friends are trustworthy to me. And so are you. I believe everything you said. And... My faith in Arakawa-san is coming back strong. Kasuga. Yeah? Are you a blood relative of Arakawa's? <laughs> no, it's not like that. I see. Well, he must have been happy to have such loyalty as yours. As proud as any father, I think.
Nagatacho has been rocked by party chair Ogikubo's sudden retirement due to illness. Long a central figure in politics, Ogikubo was the prime minister's last ally in keeping parliament together. An election shall be held to reaffirm the will of the people. I look forward to a new citizens' liberal party and a new cabinet. The prime minister made more shockwaves later that day. In the afternoon, he announced he would appoint Rio Aoki to Ogi Kubo's now. Uh, okay. Marcus is just talking Aoki to me. He will be the first sitting governor. He bought some massage gun on Timu for like eight bucks, and I'm like super sure jealous. I'm like, I want one now. Eight dollars? That was worth that. Hmm. How are you feeling, former chairman? Surely the governor of Tokyo can read. My sign says no visitors. <laughs> oh, suddenly rules are important to you. Naturally. Shouldn't you concern yourself with the rules you've already broken? For example, counterfeiting. Your crimes put the entire national economy at risk. Do you know how many lives were saved by what you call a crime? Hundreds. Any politician can say they built a road or passed a law. But how many can say they caught people who fell through the cracks? You think you're talented enough to do that in my stead? <laughs> oh, I've got plenty of talents. I just use them very differently compared to you. For example, I managed to fit your downfall to my already very busy schedule. A governor as the party chair. Nothing could be more ripe for corruption. Oh. Everything I'm gonna do will be labeled scandalous by withered old men like you. But by next year, Japan will have a new standard, and it will have been written by me. Spoken like a true amateur. <laughs> amateur, huh? Let me ask you, do you remember my first election ten years ago? I asked you for the Citizens Liberal Party endorsement. You insulted me. Your exact words were, Bleach Japan is a bunch of kids playing at politics. Your home district is Kanagawa's second, isn't that right? I'm happy to tell you, Bleach Japan will be running a candidate there in the next election cycle. And he'll have the Citizens Liberal Party's ringing endorsement. So, how does it feel to have everything taken from you by a bunch of kids? Our candidate's victory in Kanagawa's District 2 is all but certain. So I've come up with a plan for taking out the trash in Ijincho. Of course, we'll probably lose half the population. Are you calling the people of Ijin Show trash? I'm calling them disposable. Pardon me? What did you call them? People who fell through the cracks? Can't you see that's their own fault for becoming so dependent on the Grey Zones? They're responsible for maintaining their home. And they fail. That's what makes them disposable. But I must be going. As I said, I've got a busy schedule. Happy retirement, my former chair. I truly wish that for you. <sighs> I hope you'll visit Ijincho after its beautiful new developments are complete. You'll hardly recognize it. And I can't wait to see the look on your face when you see it. So, it's your hideout? Yep, go ahead. Make yourself at home. I'd love to, but, uh, where could I even do that? Yes, 
The square footage of this place leaves something to be desired. Well, excuse me. I'm hearing some pretty high standards for a couple of pad crashers. We're not crashing it. Nambasan gave us permission. <laughs> Who the hell says no to Jungi Han when he has to stay the night? I mean, it's freaking Jungi Han. Hey, where are the rest of your people now that Komi Jewel HQ is gone? They're fixing the surveillance system. It will take some time for it to be fully restored. Well, I get why Jun Gihan is staying here, since his place is a pile of ashes. But what's Zhao's excuse? It's not like I could just keep living in Qing Chen after stepping down from the Limang. Wouldn't have sent the right message. So, I'm joining the ranks of the homeless. Still doesn't explain why you need to stay here. Maybe because information collects where people do. And this group does seem to be in the know. We do? But we don't even know what happened to Bleach Japan. Did the police ever put a stop to all that craziness? The police? Kasuga-kun, haven't you seen the news? No, I haven't had the time. Well, Bleach Japan's reputation in Ijin Show, hell all of Japan, is golden after the Komi Jewel thing. What? Oh yeah, you wouldn't believe the headlines. Despite peril, brave Bleach Japan topples Komi Jewel Gang. Grassroots Org achieves what police never could. Shit like that. Wow, great journalism. No spin at all. That's not even the worst of it. The reports say that Komi Jewel committed arson during its fight with Bleach Japan. And in the blaze, Bleach Japan director Ogasawara perished. He's dead? What happened? He was definitely alive after the fire. That's when we interrogated him. Yeah, then the Omi Alliance rescued him. Why would he be... <sighs> Wait, did they? Yes, they probably killed him. I had that thought right away. At least he died the way he wanted to, as a hero of the revolution. <laughs> that guy? A hero? why they kill him? Because he squawked like a bird when you interrogated him. Why wouldn't they off the guy? Now they're just milking his death for all it's worth. Honestly, it's a brilliant move, making it look like he died in the Komi Jewel fire. No crime reports, cops and doctors wouldn't bat an eye. And Bleach Japan gets a nice, tragic death to go on about. Ah, <sighs> damn. I wish we'd picked a fight with dumber enemies. But what can we do? Go to the police and explain how we abducted Ogasawara? What would be the point? Half the force is on Mabuchi's payroll. Uh, they would just book our asses. So Aoki has everyone marching along to his little tune. All in step. Young master. Okay, Bleach Japan's got us by the short hairs there. But what about the fact they were trespassing on Komijo property? Well, they must have figured the public would think the ends justified the means. And they were right. The public thinks Bleach Japan is the hero of this story. The police will never prosecute them for trespassing. At this rate, the Komijo and the Liomong are going to be extinct in Ijincho. And people like you who give us shelter will be an endangered species. I wish I didn't have to say this, but I suggest you make other living arrangements. I can't. I'm waiting for someone to contact me here. Who? Arakawa-san? He's about to go all in with his next gamble. When that happens, you'll need strong allies. M more than he's already got? I can't say anymore. I'm sorry. Me too. I'll be in touch. Hmm. <laughs> well then. But isn't Masumi Arakawa the man who shot you? The boss wasn't trying to kill me. He shot me so I could live. Sorry, but don't you think that's still kind of fucked up? It's a long story. Buy me a beer sometime and I'll tell you all about it. But right now, while we've got you on the team, we need to get shit done. 
We need to stock up on money and supplies because nobody knows what the hell will happen next. That's for sure. Boom, got Zhao, I bet you were, bet you were expecting him to join the party. That was the Korean dude. Yeah, I bet you can see it, them coming. With the fall of the Great Wall of Bustle, Yokama's rising crime rate. The city's villains grow even more powerful. Be on the lookout, you may encounter formidable, never before seen foes. Uh -uh. <laughs> Okay, I think that's good for now. Gonna save. And then, uh, but hold on. Let's get Zhao's job set up, because then later tonight, maybe. Oh wait, what's this phone call? We can do the, uh, the underground dungeon where it's all combat, and I can just stream that. You know, that'd be a good thing hey. to stream later, you know what I mean? Right down there. I don't need to rush down there. Let's go over to Hello Work. What's Zhao's default job? his weapon at. Zhaikin Kaijin Specialty Source. Where's that at? Get ourselves set up right for tonight, and then we'll stop. These guys are level 40. What the shoot? Did I kill these guys? I don't even know. My weapons are strong, so maybe. I got a lot. This one gonna start getting harder. Good skills for my classes. We got ice spreader, vampirism, vampirism. Hell yeah! There. Ice spreader's good. Oh, I could just kill that guy. Oh, why? Peter's up to me. I, forget, I keep forgetting that's a mechanic. It happens a little. Holy Christ! He damn near one shot at me. I gotta get some people dead. Bring it on. I got this. Have fun with this. 
Watch this. Oh god. Oh, I just lost because you should died. I forget I forgot that's the thing. Uh, oh, okay, well you just got reduced by half. Oh wow, that's that's a lot. So I don't want to trigger this shit. Damn it, I just wanted to eat there. Stupid. Everything's a quest. <laughs> You're always so working so do. hard. And besides, I wanted to see you as soon as I could. Mausan. I'm so sorry about last time. I really messed up that rice. Oh, that's all right. It was good for what it was. It was like a dessert. Very innovative. Uh, now, why don't we go to the movies? Oh, no. Where did I put those tickets? Don't tell me I dropped them. Ah, oh, crap. I'm so sorry. It's all right. We can buy them at the counter. You gave me this lovely little thing, so tonight's on me. Oh, he's calling in there. It's probably a cheap ass oh. ring. Hey, you're he pretends like he doesn't have money. Thank you. A ring this cute for a woman in her forties? <laughs> yeah, he really dates see? older women who are desperate. More than anyone else in the world. He's using it for her money. Honestly, He's a gold I, digger. I to get you something more expensive. The thoughts what matters. But are you sure? I, I'm an old lady, you know. Now, son, you're no old lady. Truly, I'm serious when I say I want to marry you. Oh, you took <sighs> one. Uh, Thank you. Desperate older woman. Huh? Whoa! Hey, you're that guy's old man, right? My Utah. Getting married? Impossible. Not my Utah. Trouble, you know. The name's Tokuro Tanaka. I own a Chinese restaurant here in town. Ichiban Kasuga. No worries. I wasn't gonna just leave you passed out like that. That's Yuta. So much to learn, and he's out wasting his time with a woman. Come on. He's bound to start seeing people at that age. Why not support him? No. He needs to hone his skills as a chef so he can take up the restaurant. There's no time for him to get caught up in love and whatnot. What's more, she's 40. Damn near old enough to be his mother. Yeah, but age shouldn't really matter, right? Oh, like hell it shouldn't. I don't want him to suffer like I did. I take it there's a story here? Truth be told, my wife was older than me. She passed away when he was little. It's tough being left behind. I don't want him to have to experience the same thing. I get how you feel, but you never really know when someone's gonna die, you know? If they really love each other, isn't that enough? Yeah, well... I hear she's been divorced once already. Her life's totally different from Yuta's. There's no way an amateur like him could match up with her. For all we know, she's playing him for a fool. You're thinking about this way too hard. 
Kasuga-san, forgive me for roping you into this, but do you think you could find out more for me? Huh? Me? He's your son, isn't he? Yeah, well, he might not feel like answering me. And I don't see myself handling it too politely, either. Please, there's nobody else that I can ask about something this embarrassing. I'll even reward you for your trouble. All right, fine. Can't say I'm not curious myself. Oh, I appreciate it. Think you could talk to him next time he's at the restaurant? Yeah, sure. I'll ask him when I'm nearby. God, can I just eat here and heal without triggering a cutscene? Because I really need to eat. We'll see. Yes, you see! Thank God. So it's a I was gonna try to avoid fights. Everyone was so strong that last time. Just step it up, level up. What am I looking for here? I came here for something. There was some weapon. Uh, Master Saber? Watch, I mean, I can't afford it now. I can't, because I lost my money. Can I sell stuff? No. God damn it. I have to come back for it. I'm gonna turn off the stream. I'm just gonna go do a little bit of the business mini game and farm up some money and then upgrade this dude's sword and, sh and such. And then I'll save and stop. But I wanna just like watch TV and shit while I do that so you're not gonna miss anything. And then uh, later, next time I stream tonight, um, we'll do that underground dungeon where it's just a bunch of combat. We'll level these dudes up and get a bunch of loot and shit and see a cool boss fight. So I'll see you later. Peace.